Hi, it's the Cold Math Lady. Today we're talking about angles of a parallelogram. This will be a pretty quick lesson. So angles of a parallelogram, there's two things to keep in mind. Let's take a look at this example. I'm going to write my B in right there. So they've given us one angle, which is 110 degrees. How do we find the measures of the other angles? Well, you might remember way back when we learned something called adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are angles that are next to each other. So A and B are adjacent and also A and D are adjacent. Adjacent angles are also supplementary angles. Supplementary angles are angles that add up to 180 degrees. So that means that A, which is 110 degrees, plus B, which we don't know, the whole thing will add up to 180 degrees. So to find B, all we have to do is subtract 110 from 180, and that gives us our 70 degrees as our answer. So B is going to be 70 degrees. But if you remember, I also said that D and A are also adjacent angles. So this means that D is also 70 degrees. So we've got 70 here and 70 here. Well, there's a couple of ways we can find out what C is. There's another rule with parallelograms that non-adjacent angles will equal each other. So what is a non-adjacent angle to angle A, which is 110 degrees? The only one that's non-adjacent is angle C. It's across from it. So it means that they will equal each other. So C equals 110 degrees. And here's the good news. All of our angles, when we add them up together, are going to equal 360 degrees. Well, let's test it out. We have 110 for A. We have 110 for C. And then we have 70 and 70 for B and D. 7, 7 is 14, and 2 is 16, and there we go. 360 degrees are what all of the angles add up to. Take a look at another example. So this time we have a parallelogram, but instead of giving us an angle inside of the parallelogram, I've given you an angle on the outside of the parallelogram. It's 125 degrees. How does that help us find the angles inside of the parallelogram? Well, let's use the rules that we know. We know two rules. Adjacent angles equal 180 degrees because they're supplementary, and non-adjacent angles are equal to each other. Well, 125 and B have a relationship. They are adjacent, which means they equal 180 degrees. So angle B will be, well, let's see, 125 plus angle B equals 180. And if we do our subtraction, we see that B equals 55 degrees. Yes, let's make sure. 5 and 2 is 7. Yes, 180. So I can write it in. B is 55. Now remember, adjacent angles add up to 180. So to B, A is adjacent, which means that it will equal 125. And also C is adjacent, which means it will equal 125. And what about D? We know D is a non-adjacent angle, so it equals angle B. B and D equal each other. <laughs> so this one is 55 degrees. Okay, as long as you use your rules for a parallelogram, adjacent angles, non-adjacent angles, you are all set. Okay, try the practice problems. I will definitely see you next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.